Recently I went to Noosa and I met up with Peter from Define Watches and I, uh, I saw so many beautiful German watches, I ended up buying one myself. But I spent about 40 minutes with him in an interview and I asked him so many questions about certain brands, Zinn, Hanhart, uh, Mueller, uh, Habringtu or Habringtu. I pronounced most of the brands wrong, but look, it's about a 39 minute video, enjoy it. There's a couple of blooper sections in there, so. <laughs> <laughs> We've broken, yeah, broken a watch. <laughs> We've broken a watch. Who said Germans don't have a sense of humor? We had a good time. So let's run the intro, let's enjoy the video. Guys, I want to say a big uh, hello to Peter from Define Watches here. I'm in Brisbane in Noosa and I've traveled up here for a holiday and I'll tell you what, I've come into the shop, it's brilliant. It's absolutely brilliant here. So I'm in, in La La Land as far as watches are concerned. So I'm going to share some German watches. Peter, I want to, I want to basically ask you a couple of questions about German watches. And I, I've noticed here that there's different brands. For example, we've got Hanhart here. And for me, being a Steve McQueen fan, I know that he wore a Hanhart and Tell me a little bit about the brand itself. Yes, Hanhardt is um, it's a very old brand. It's actually um, they were known for pilot watches back to World War Two and mm -hmm. before. And um, we actually had a couple of uh, original 1930s Hanhardt wow. for service, and they tick and look Brilliant. almost like they did uh, 80 years ago. Um, value for money is fantastic. Mm -hmm. It's a small team of amazing watchmakers there. Lovely people, uh, great to deal with, very flexible, and um, the history, the history of Hannah, how far back does it go? Do you know roughly? Um, history goes back to just before 1900. Wow, so, uh, brilliant! Yeah. It's, it's a very old brand. Why right? it's a uh, Swiss border and south of Germany? Yep. Can you tell me a little bit about this? Look, I've got a 39, and I've got a obviously a 39 and a thir uh, 42. Yeah. So. Um, the, that was an addition that they recently made in 39, 42 millimeter as a panda, mm -hmm. white eye, black eyes, um, same as a re reverse panda. Um, the special uh, thing here with those ones is <clears throat> that's actually flyback. Okay. You have the flyback movements, flyback chronographs. You can. Uh, so you hit, the, you hit the start, you hit the reset, exactly. it goes straight back to zero and it keeps going. And it keeps going yep. so you can take an intermediate time. Correct. Um, you have a sliding, sliding bezel. Mm -hmm. Friction fit. Both directions, um, friction bezel. Yep. So, yeah, it's a, it's a very practical, practical watch, well made, good value for money. I like the display so case back on this. Um, yes, that's beautiful. Yeah, that is lovely. So you got a manual wind, you got column, yeah, column yeah. chronograph as well, which yeah, is great. Column wheel chronograph. Beautiful. Um, and um, they come uh, standard um, with a bun strap, mm -hmm. which comes from the German military. So the, the, the historical yeah, yeah. ideal, yeah, yeah, yeah absolutely. Right. And what have we got there? Over there, that's a limited edition, I guess it's sold out in all other markets. We were lucky to get, um, get a good uh, lot of them. Yep. Um, very special, again, um, mono pusher chronograph, so one pusher for start, stop, reset, um, hands that are beautifully um, skeletonized, mm -hmm. and um, a dial that's completely covered in loom. Fully I thought as much because I'm looking at, there's no, there's no room for loom on that handset. Exactly. Yeah. So um, if you go home late at night, you can yep. use it as a... As a torch. Very good. Be a beautiful watch, and again, fantastic Look, I tell you what, for, for me, uh, being in this shop and, and actually feeling some of the watches, that just the build quality, and this is one of the things I don't see on your website, or not on just on your on any website, that unless you actually have a, ha a, a watch in the hand, you don't know. You just don't know how good um, these things are. Yeah, and there's another thing that comes on top. If you talk, Big companies, big Swiss companies, yep. have all the money in the world to mm -hmm. do amazing photography mm -hmm. um, and, and put them in the market. Advertising, so market, yeah. Advertising, family owned companies don't yeah. have the budget. Yeah. So they take a couple of pictures and uh, that has to be it. Yeah. yeah, correct. So I wanted to ask you about the actual uh, case being black. 
It's um, a black hard coating. Um, DLC? DLC? It is a good, like good, coating. beautiful. So, yeah, it take, takes a lot. I mean, you can scratch it, but you need a, a mean piece of concrete or... Obviously. Steel. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, normal, normal uh, daily tear and wear. Gotcha. It yeah. look like it. I've got, like got a question for you, because I shared, I shared in the video with a hand heart regarding the red pusher. I shared what I heard from <laughs> stories over the years. What do you know about the story? Yes, um, the story is that um, once the pilots, uh, the drums for the pilots were was on holidays, yep. back, back home uh, with his uh, lover, with his girlfriend. Yep. Um, next morning when he left her, he noticed that she actually has covered the pusher of his chronograph, his red uh, nail polish. Nail polish, correct. That he could uh, think, think about her. Uh, he, Use the nice. So I hope he's good. Master. Good to see our stories line up. <laughs> I heard the same story. That's good. Whether it's true or not, we don't know. But that's yeah. Well done. Good, good story anyway. Yeah. Now I've got something here that caught. See, guys, this is the watches that caught my attention. I want to share them with you guys personally. And I saw this box here. I saw this particular. Th this caught my attention more than anything. I thought, what is this? So what have we got here? What What's the story? Um, so the ba background of um, Hanhart. Pilot watches, rally chronographs, um, stop watches. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, some people forgot about that. They're actually one of the very last uh, mechanical stopwatch makers in Europe, or the last uh, stopwatch makers in Europe. Yep. And they brought out a limited edition uh, for the 140 year anniversary um, a set with a stopwatch, mechanical stopwatch, nice. flyback. Nice. And a chronograph. Yeah, that's lovely. Um, both together for around four thousand dollars. Yeah, four thousand Aussie dollars. Yeah, yeah that's that's excellent. Fantastic value for money. Um, with a plate that can be mounted. Uh, classic. In a car, yep. In a classic car. Yep, yep. Or can be set on a, a table. On a desk. desk. Or a table. Can I have a look? Yeah. Um, sure. I, I was actually playing with this, and just just the noise. I don't know if I don't know if they can hear this, but. That's, that's beautiful, that is lovely. And the fact that it's a flyback, so you start, it goes straight back to zero. Exactly. And straight can, back to zero, and you can, you can stop it. Intermediate times. Correct, yeah. lap times and so forth. That's brilliant, I'd use that. See, <laughs> my viewers know that I'm actually a, uh, an avid chronograph fan. Absolutely. That's my, my best complication for me, which I use the most, well, I'm actually wearing one at the moment, and this is one of your watches. <laughs> this is not my watch, guys. I just picked up a Zin before, and I'm, uh, I'm just trying on some watches myself, because you know what, I'm here, might as well, I've got limited time, yeah, might as well yeah. enjoy them, so. Yeah, so the, this one's probably the, the hero of the kit, but look yep. at this one. It's yeah, a brother. Beautiful chronograph, it's a yeah. wheel, and then, See, that, that is stunning. That is stunning. That just the details, just the details, and the fact that yeah, again they're using the common theme with the the red pusher. That is beautiful. Tell you what, I love the sunburst dial, the effect, very nice, beautiful, Pete. Look, let's move on. Let's move on to another brand that I like, Sin. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So with Sin, it's mainly all about. Um, Watch case technology. Gotcha. Where Thin is probably leading. I wouldn't know any brand that has more special technologies. And um, starting with a um, UX that is 5000 meter waterproof, filled with oil, to a, a Flieger Chrono that is um, argon gas filled, has a capsule that pulls moisture out of the movement. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, maybe let's start with this one. Yeah, go for it. It's 103. Uh, Diapal um, TI UTC. Mm -hmm. um, this watch is made from uh, grade 5 titanium. Nice. Has a UTC function, um, has an argon gas filling to keep it fog, fog free from minus 45 to plus 80 degrees. Most customers hear it and they look. Yeah, really they won't appreciate that. Minus of course. 45 and minus 80. Yeah. yeah. But um, that's less a point than um, having big. Um, Tem uh, temperature differences. So you come out of the surf or you have the sun shining on your watch. Fluctuates. It's really hot and you get in the surf materials. Super cold, yeah. Yep. Correct. Will work differently. And um, there are tiny, tiny amounts of moisture that get sucked into into the movement, mm -hmm. into the watch. And we have that um, argon gas in there, which has a bigger molecule molecules than the, the air. Yes. So it stays in there, keeps its own. Doesn't escape. Yep. 
if moisture gets from moisture gets in somehow, there's a little capsule here with filter, that. Yeah. a capsule of salt that pulls um, moisture the out of the movement, turns blue over time. Gotcha. If okay, nice. Normally you don't need to, to do anything, but if it if it would change color really quickly, it would be a sign something's wrong, it needs to have a service. Brilliant. Otherwise it gets changed automatically with every service. Um, I don't get feeling in that capsule. It's about $45 for, for oh, It's nothing. It's nothing. In, in the it's scheme good. of things of protecting it's a watch's good. movement, you said it's a uh, titanium. Is that tegumented steel as well? Um, no, it's not tegumented, but a grade five, 5, which is strong. Titanium, Brilliant. Which is already harder Correct. than 316 uh, steel. Plus, um, as you know, titanium, when it gets a little scratch, it will get the color yeah. really quickly. Again, can I just have a quick look? Yeah. I like what I saw before because the case back on this has got a very subtle. See, so we all enthusiasts. We look for for details and stuff, and just the subtle uh, dome on that and showing off that uh, the movement. You know, you've got a beautiful column wheel again. It's, it's just lovely. Just a little detail. This is it hardly weighs anything. It's beautiful. For me, yeah, yeah. guys, being up here in in a, in a shop where I've not been able to get into a shop to feel German watches, for me this is amazing because there's hardly anything there, and yet it yeah. feels. Rock solid. Mm -hmm. That's and, the best way to describe um, it. And that's a diapal. Diapal means it has a lubrication free escapement. Yep. And Steam brought it out, I guess, three, four years before Omega. Uh, wow. Something very similar. Wow. And um, that means uh, the watch comes with five year warranty. It extends uh, mm -hmm. the warranty uh, circles, mm -hmm. the, the, the service circles. Yeah, gotcha. Nice. Beautiful. beautiful this caught my attention. Oil filled. Something, something different. It's that is a, that is something different. It's actually quartz watch. Yeah, I can see that. Uh, but normally, I, normally, I guess you and I, we were not fair. No, yeah, watches. mostly mechanical automatic, uh, yeah. Yeah, the, the reason for having a quartz watch here is that this piece is a 5,000 meter waterproof. Wow. Um, it filled completely with oil that um, underwater, you can read it from... I can see that. I'm, I'm looking at it at yeah. extreme angle, I can read the time. And it's, normally you get a mirror effect from a, from a third angle. Correct. That wouldn't happen here. Yeah. So it, 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 it avoids what is it, diffraction or the. Yeah, under the light, light breaking, the different angle, Correct. angle of light breaking. Correct. And it was developed for special forces in, in Europe, in Germany. GSG 9 has a logo and it comes with and without logo. Brilliant. Um, GSG 9 with that logo as a crown at 11 o'clock, 10, 11 o'clock. Mm -hmm. uh, two voice that it can take in, into the width. When those guys are moving, gotcha. jumping, climbing, whatever they do. So what you're saying that th these this is for the special forces. Yeah, yeah that's what they're wearing. Wow, yeah. that is lovely. That is and, lovely. And um, so the reason for that quartz movement is that it takes a certain force to move that second hand through that oil. Mm -hmm. And the um, torque. A mechanic wouldn't do it. So right. it, they needed to develop a special uh, quartz movement. You can tell even when you see the second hand here. It yes. Will be pushed back down. Yeah, there's a little bit of. The, I saw that, and it was like a. Yeah. Ooh, it's, it's like it's going through fluid, yeah. and it is. Yeah. And it is. It's extremely exact. That is nice. It's that is actually very different. Amazing technology. Yeah, very even, different. Even if you don't need the 5,000 meter waterproof. Which you, 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 know, you never will, anyway, but still. Most, uh, most people wow. never drive their Ferraris with the Yeah, but, yeah. Uh, bravo. Yeah. Bravo. Very good. Next up, what have we got? Well, um, actually, you know what? Tell me about this. Tell me about this. Before we get into the last two yeah. scenes, tell me about this. Oh, okay. That's a limited edition that was actually a homage to um, a very old Hoyer model. Mm -hmm. Tag Hoyer? So oh, Hoyer as well, yep. 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 Mm -hmm. And the original Hoyer was made for the German army of oh, World War II. Okay. Um, funny enough, I was wearing this watch last year when I was in Germany, been in Munich, and come back to an antique store and saw a vintage the original Hoyer. 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 Nice. It looked exactly the same other than the nice. logo. Nice, nice. Well, it looked pretty amazing. So it's an homage to so, that, it's yeah, drawn yeah. back from that, yeah, that's so that period. I, I wear one myself, I love it. Uh, it is. It's really, not, really good to wear. I'm actually surprised with the, uh, well, look, they've done a great job because I'm yeah. looking at their profile yeah. and that, yeah. that is thin as, I mean, you've got the case back mm. holding the moon, but that's, exactly. the way this sits yeah. is super flat on the wrist. So these are the sort of, you know, the sort of things that you don't mm. see mm. unless you've got yeah. them in hand. I love this. Uh, so they're only 500 right, but I guess they're more really? or less. So they're really, really, very nice. Almost sold. Next up, um, the U1, I guess, yeah, everyone who knows thin knows uh, the U1 made from submarine steel, which is, um, We've seen users for, for all the divers, for yep. the watches. Yep. Mm -hmm. 
Um, so a submarine steel does have an advantage that it is as anti-magnetic mm -hmm. and corrosion to, uh, proof as steel can be. Mm -hmm. This one here, the limited edition, has a beautiful mother of pearl dial. I saw that, yeah. Very subtle, has a bit of a petrol color. Yeah, yeah. Um, together with, with detrimented submarine steel, which is extremely hard. Yep. Uh, same with the band. DLC. Um, yeah. yeah, so it's basically got three different technologies happening just there. Um, watch comes in, in different versions, wow. different colors. Wow. Again. It's a beautiful piece. Yeah, that's lovely. <clears throat> stealth, very stealth, but great legibility. Yeah, that's great. And lastly... This one here is um, a T50. Mm -hmm. T50 is a smaller model, 500 meter waterproof. Mm -hmm. Um, again, a limited edition here that's made from a very special Bronx. A Bronx that has, um, as far as I know, 20% uh, gold. Gold. And um, basically no, none of the dirty metals that are normally in uh, yep, the Bronx. Yep. Yep. That means it holds its um, color, its color yep. very long. It is, uh, behaves really well in, in, uh, in, in uh, salt water, sea nice. water conditions. Nice. Um, yeah. Push, push, push down, down and then it turns. I was um, I was playing with that. Yeah. Slightly domed. Yes. Sapphire. Correct. Correct. Um, color coded hands. As at night time, you have different colors for a minute and and uh, hand. Iron filling and that capsule, same as same as that. I was actually very surprised. Like yeah. you're you're saying 500 meters and that is that's yeah. way thin. Yeah. My Aquaterra yeah. is yeah. thicker than that. Yeah. That is yeah. see. This is one of the things that I find, me personally, and we talk about in-house movements and so forth, and me personally, I'm, I'm not an advocate, I don't care whether it has or it hasn't got an in-house, as long as the watch is built well, the technology is there for me, I'm more than happy. And I'm, I'm seeing something that's, you know, you've got an ETA or Solita-based movement here, modified by Zinn, yeah, correct? If I guess I'm, the important thing is that companies like Zinn always use uh, top grade movements. Correct. <clears throat> there are certain, certain brands where I would say yes, they have to have an in-house movement, mm -hmm. small, small brands, yep. where it makes absolute sense. Correct. Here, if I want, um, Tool specific. If I want an everyday chronograph or a special timer watch right yep. now, for me, it would make a difference. Yeah. So I would not be... You won't appreciate it. To pay Correct. More. You're not going to appreciate yeah, it. Correct. Yeah. It's exactly right. That's exactly yeah. what I'm seeing. And I'm thinking, this is why I think a lot of people don't know regarding uh, German watches. I've been an advocate and a fan for many years. I've been yeah. having, yeah. I've had so many since. I've had a Mueller as well. Mm -hmm. um, and actually, I, I, yeah, I think I picked out a couple of Mueller watches. Okay. I wanted you to share something with me. But um, I love them. I yeah. just think they're just rock solid value for money. Because if I was to get the same technology in a, for example, a Swiss brand or even a Japanese, you'd be paying top dollar. Yeah. And I, actually, some of the technology doesn't even exist actually, in those yeah, brands. Um, I used to be a... Um, supplier for the watch industry made yep. in Switzerland, back yep. in Germany, and I was in watches since 40 years, long before there you go. whatever. There you, go. And there you go, there you go. Because Good. I trusted such great value for money, and yeah. I asked, you can wear them, whatever you do, they wouldn't scratch some of the models, the detrimental ones. That is great. Just amazing. Yeah. I wish I'd bought a. Uh, EZ1 back then, EZ1. Mm. Yeah. But nonetheless, all right, let's move on, put these aside. These are the watches that I picked out because a, a, a couple of things. First and foremost, I had that watch for a long time. I actually, uh, this is the SAR Rescue Time, and I had this watch for how many years, loved it. I sadly let it go. Um, obviously, I've got eight watches in my collection, so I moved it on, and probably one of the watches that I miss the most. I, and I've sort of debated, do I get it back again? Now, the new ones come out, and I did a review. I've actually done a review of both these watches, but I've never had them side by side and now having them for me personally having them side by side i can see the thinness uh, the legibility is i mean you've got so much more real estate to, to read that time so there's i can understand the the pluses with the titanium as compared with the, the steel and what have you but talk me through them you okay, tell me there's, um, there's quite a history of um, this one that started over 25 years ago yep. when uh, the german search and rescue teams mm -hmm. operating in the north and east sea uh, we're looking for, for a perfect watch, mm -hmm. and um, they asked a couple of companies, um, Mühle came up with this design here, a watch that doesn't look like a 1,000 meter waterproof. No, it doesn't. It's yeah. a 4 millimeter thick sapphire crystal, it's a very tough um, 
beef mm. um, with uh, Lou on the date. Uh, very legible, very legible at night time. Um, the corner of the, that high sapphire is protected by the rubber. Rubber, rubber the bezel. Last, <laughs> we um, had probably in 15 years two uh, cases where we uh, replaced the rubber bezel. Really? And it doesn't cost a lot. Yeah, easy, yeah. Easy to do. Um, yeah, so an amazing piece. I loved it, absolutely um, loved it. The guys from um, so Search and Rescue yep. boats, still wearing them. Uh, some of the younger guys were asking, can we make it a little bit bigger? Mm -hmm. Can we make it a little bit more fashionable? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, uh, Tilo Müller had the idea to come out with um, a very similar model, but titanium case, mm -hmm. so very light, 500, 500 meter waterproof, which is still enough. Um, thinner. Yeah, I saw that. Look, looks beautiful. Much thinner profile. Big, big enough date. Um, so yeah, it's, it's a beautiful piece. I have one of those myself. It's more, if you really, it's it's more of a modern iteration, isn't it? Yeah. It's more of a modern. Look, I, I didn't have when you. I asked you to have a look at this. I said, can you send it? You did, and you know what? This is some of the things where I've known Peter for how many years now, and every time I've gotten on his website, I said, Pete, oh, I really like that watch. Can you send it? He just sends it. You know, and that's I. I really appreciate you. you've never met me. I've never met you. It was just all on the phone, um, mate. A real big appreciation from yeah. me, a real big thank you, because it it's stuff that I've never been able to get out here, especially being through COVID and stuff and mm -hmm. lockdowns. We never got a chance, but mate, we're here yeah. and um, we, we, couldn't be happier. We realised really quickly when we saw your first yeah. uh, video, that, yeah, that's something. Thank you. And it's honest. Yeah. Well, that, look, that's what I do. That's yeah. what it is. I'm, a, I'm yeah. simply an enthusiast. Si as, as simple much, as that, yeah. As much as I could hate it sometimes, you, you're honest enough to say, yeah, yeah, I don't like that, I don't like Thank that. Thank you. That's good. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather do the right thing by the watch and by me, rather, I'm not here to sell anything, yeah, I'm here yeah, to, yeah. Everyone has a different taste. Yeah, brother. Yeah. Good on you, Pete. Oh, yeah. Good on you, mate. Love these, love both. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to speak about this because mm -hmm. I saw this on your website a while back, mm -hmm. didn't, didn't catch my eye, nothing. Mate, this is stunning. This is if I was if I was twenty years old, this would be on my wrist. This is a twenty twenty five. This is gorgeous. Just the blacks, the oranges, the layout, the fact that it's got your pusher on the left, and it's a different style. Talk me through it. Um, again, this one was made for a search and rescue pilots, so the helicopter pilots mm. sitting in the helicopters need a watch that they can read in a flash, can operate the vessel quickly to get the times, the yep. navigation right. Um, operate it with the right hand. This way. So, yep. start, stop. Correct. That is it. Yeah, that's great. It's a very strong, very tough piece, 200 meter waterproof. Still, stuff like crystal case back, showing the, the beautiful uh, Mühle movement. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if I mentioned it. Mühle is one of the original Glashütte companies, Glashütte, the village in uh, Germany where they have actually the worldwide toughest uh, rules, laws actually, for watchmaking. Really? That a um, um, big percentage, over 50% of the physical watch has to come from that village. Yeah, that's pretty So cool. a company like Mühle that operates um, with uh, three space movements, can't just take the top grade movements, put them in, they actually have to upgrade them. Gotcha. What, spend, um, time, spend time with the movement, exactly, changing yeah. it up, yeah. yeah. So um, what Mühle does, they're putting their complete own um, regulation section in. Within the regulation section, they basically have another shockproof element. Mm -hmm. So next to Inca block, there's another protection element for, yep. for the movement. <coughs> they, they're testing them a lot. They're, they're very exact. They're fantastic. Uh, Brilliant. Fantastically made. Mühle is really a smallish company with about 40, 45 uh, employees. employees. Still um, decent size. Fifth uh, generation, family owned. Wow. You know, See, they own it really well. Brilliant. Some, uh, but it shows, it shows in their products. And if, if, if SAR, if different, you know, military, navy, yeah. they're using these, it, you know, Zin or whether it's a, a mule, it shows. Mm, yeah, exactly. It actually shows. And um, so we are saying, in one way, quite close to Zin, with different design, talking to similar customers. Mm -hmm. um, but they also have a nice, very nice uh, dress. Range. That is lovely. Moon, moon phase. phase, I can see. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is. What are some of this cost? Um, it's below, below $3,000. Yeah, see, the, the finishing, the, the, just the designer. I love the, 
I've always noticed on Mueller's website there, um, the lugs, exactly. they're just slightly yeah, out, and it's, 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 a, it's a good DNA, it's a good, it, you can recognise a Mueller, yeah. and for me that's, yeah, yeah, something unique. That is lovely. Because I was hand-painted hand moon desk, and just beautifully done. What we've got here, this is uh, this is some pretty special watches, and I believe they're probably a little bit more expensive than what we've been watching. Yes, um, yes, a little bit more. more but um, you have to leave what's behind. Okay, Habring. We've got Habring two here. Habring, uh, yep. not a German band. Okay. So um, our main intention when we started here was not German watches; yep. it was actually independent watchmakers. Nice. So away from the big groups with tons of marketing money where, where customers pay about 70-80% for marketing rather than the product mm -hmm. itself yeah. yeah so um Harping is a relatively young brand um, 18 years old uh, Richard Harping used to work for Lang & Sohn mm -hmm. um, used to work for IWC correct uh, developed uh, the split chronograph for, for IWC worked on Lang & Sohn's perpetual calendar so has an amazing name within the watch industry Together with his uh, wife Maria, they started uh, the watch company in Austria. And um, the sort of watchmaking they're doing is just outstanding. Yeah, I can see. Mm -hmm. I can see. So um, they won the big uh, watch award in Switzerland four times, mm -hmm. which has never happened before to a smallish company. It shows the movement, what it does with these movements. I mean, yeah. I had the uh, the Doppel in the 38, that was yeah. phenomenal. The movement yeah. Yeah. is just. That blew me away. Mm -hmm. Really impressive. And I'm, again, thank you for sending it down for me to have a look at. Yeah. Really appreciate that. That was the um, first big complication. Oh no, the double double was the first. Mm -hmm. This one was the second. Um, Jogging second. Everyone, oh, wow. uh, everyone came in and said, "Yeah, why would anyone make a quartz? Make uh, an expensive, well-designed um, mechanical watch looking like a quartz." quartz. Watch. Because you can, because you can. Because you can. <laughs> well, look at that. Yeah, that is great. That just holding that, it looks like a quartz watch. You'd never know. But yeah, turning over, you go, oh my goodness, what am I looking at here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a, that is a real. Sounds exactly that second, that eat on. on yeah, the I can see that. That's ingenious. That is ingenious. That's pretty impressive. <laughs> and looking at something so like this. Um, that's a double uh, chronograph, um, actually, a very complicated mm -hmm. uh, watch. It has um, a split You've got two pushes, I, I noticed. Start, mm -hmm. stop, reset while catching a... So one, 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 up, one of the seconds, one of the running seconds has stopped, yep. the other one's still going. Yep. Yep. Catching up. Yep. So you have actually uh, one, two, three, four, five hands coming out of the center. Plus, plus yeah, plus the yep. two sub dolls, absolutely. Um, pointer date, so it's... It's an amazing piece of uh, mm. technology, actually. How does it, what, what's the story with the movements on these? He designs them, he... Um, yeah, um, Richard and Maria developed their complete own movement. Yep. In How the beginning, it? initially, they um, started with their own... Um, with Joe, okay, uh, yep. base and, and their own components. Yep. Um, then when, when ETA started playing around, uh, we delivered... Modifying. Um, they just were really consequent that, look, we don't use any ETA anymore. We don't do any, anything from anyone else. Mm -hmm. Make it in-house. Good on you. And they did it Good in on a short him. time. Developed an amazing movement that is used by some fantastic uh, watch companies. Other brands as well, mm -hmm. yeah. That's, mm -hmm. But that's telling, isn't it? That's, yes. That just shows that, you know, someone who can build um, a movement like this. What you find with Harping, it's very ethical watchmaking. Okay. So very purist. There's nothing that doesn't need to be on the watch. There's not even a... Not even a signed crown. Yeah. I've noticed, actually, I was going to ask you that. None of the crowns are signed. Everything is soft locally. Yeah. So watch comes in a simple nature wooden box. No nonsense. Where you could almost say, yes, it's not enough for a watch or surprise. But if you open that box and look in, you there is a seal kit. And a crown for the next you showed me earlier. Yeah. They would pay whatever. So parts for that you could use for your first yeah. service or second yeah. service. That's brilliant. That is excellent. So they're very open with the construction, with construction details. Whenever our service center has a question within shorter time, we have an answer, construction plan. So what, what others wouldn't even give out. That is impressive. So, uh, that is impressive. They, they don't use um, alligator straps. No? They use, again, local produced straps from animals that we, most of us use anyway. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. 
And just as a guide, what would something like that cost? I mean, I'm looking at something beautifully um, finished, refined. This is one of my, my favorite, actually, is a model uh, based on the smaller uh, Felix. 38. Uh, beautiful model. Yes, I mean, I yep. supplied, uh, on the, I can see the blue, the blue the hands. Yeah. Dial, uh, flame blued hands. Beautiful. Oh, just the whining. Yeah, yeah. Just, just, that is... Mm. Probably uh, um, as good as any Swiss, if not better. It's just beautiful. Show, show me one. Yeah, exactly. That that is beautiful. That is really nice. Yeah. It, but you know what? Look at the back. You can feel it. You can actually feel what you're paying for. Um, like you said before, and this is, I think, some of the things that we don't. A lot of even myself learning over the last couple of years regarding marketing, and you know, with Swiss watch brands, they've got such a budget to throw at. Yeah, celebrities and Hollywood and, uh, you know, the, the, what you're paying for the watch at the end of the day, you're not getting that, I don't believe, the value. There are some amazing brands. There are, there are. Doing great work, but yeah, we, we, we all know <clears throat> Switzerland is not cheap. No. Not cheap for making holiday, not cheap uh, no, correct. for producing anything. Um, Germany is a uh, little bit better than Germany is known for, uh, not for humor. <laughs> no, 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 but we had a, I'll see if I can find the, the outtake, but we had a good laugh yesterday, the day before we had Carlo, and uh, you, it was it was a display watch, but you unscrewed the crown, and you pulled the crown, the crown fell, over. we all cracked up, you're saying no humour, that was fantastic, that was good timing, so. You still have a passion, a love for watches, have you lost your, your love? No. <laughs> No, I really. <laughs> <laughs> We've broken. Yeah. We've broken a watch. <laughs> We've broken. A watch. What have you done? Oh no! No, it's not broken. It's it's a travel collection I brought with. Okay. So and some of the watches are prototypes, or even you're not properly fixed because you know um, traveling with this. <laughs> this will go in the blue section. With the high-end finished watches, uh, mm. a bit too expensive. That's impressive. <laughs> make those cutouts at the end of. Well, that's right. this, is, this is in the comedy section at the end. <laughs> Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah. So, um, yes, amazing engineering. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. No, it shows. And the watch also has to do with trust. It's just fantastic. Very ethical watchmaking. Uh, when when we have questions, we we talk to the owners. We get a. If I want a design, we had a customer who wanted a... Straight to the owner. Um, he wanted a watch design with a moon face yep. for Southern Hemisphere, where the moon grows in the right direction. Yep. Worked really quickly. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they're extremely well made. We, we don't get any, any warranty cases or so, but things can go wrong and do go wrong. Yep. That's what the warranty is for. Yeah. And then it's uh, the question how a company reacts. If something something goes wrong, yeah, gotcha. And with those companies, we can be sure they react in a flash. And uh, it's a reputation. Yeah, yeah, yeah brother. Exactly. The piste resistance. What's this? <laughs> that is lovely. Um, yeah, that's a five five minute repeat. That is lovely. Um, We've been playing with that. Yeah. Very old technology comes from a time when people didn't have electric light. Uh -huh. uh, couldn't turn on the light at yep. night time and Correct. see the watch. They didn't have fun. Uh, they were over. They couldn't read it. Mm -hmm. So. Um, Someone very clever came up with the idea, put a little push on there, a little clockwork that counts. Uh, the hours. Yep. Sort of repeat at this uh, minute, uh, quarter, hour, an hour, yep. or in this case, five minutes and hour. Nice. Beautiful thing, again. That is brilliant. And, yeah. um, what uh, Harpring managed here, normally whenever you see um, a repeater, the case is open, it wouldn't be waterproof because um, it closes in the sound if mm -hmm. you close mm -hmm. it up. Mm -hmm. This case, this movement was sounding so well, it's a great five chart handling, mm -hmm. so very hard, fully uh, wearable as everyday such, and uh, five bar waterproof, and great, great five chart handling, so that's uh, pretty amazing. That is lovely, that is absolutely lovely. Just going back to the history with yourself, I want to actually ask you a question, uh, Pete. How long have you been uh, like at this shop here, for argument's sake, in Brisbane? Okay, we started in Brisbane in 2008. Mm -hmm. um, when we moved here from Germany, we thought, okay, production in Australia is not really something we want to do. Um, we loved the idea of keep working with watches. Uh, from a commercial point of view, it would have been easy to put all our money into a Rolex store, be Rolex dealer. 
probably was rolling in the yeah. morning. Yeah. <laughs> You'd be rich as. Couldn't even sleep before um, because I would laugh all night. Yeah. Um, we went another way. We said, look, we reintroduced those independent companies. Good on you. Um, we, we did underestimate. It was, was heaps more work to educate the market. When we arrived in 2008, no one in Australia knew yeah. anything about your own watches. Yeah. Um, yeah. And, and still now people are still learning. Yeah. I'm, I'm, yeah. When I grab a watch off you, mm. I, I put it online, I review it, I wear it, I love it, and we never knew this brand existed, or we never knew X, Y, Z. So that, that, for me, that shows that there's a lack because these are, as far as I'm concerned, not only historical, because German watches go all the way back, I think what, if you compare Swiss and German. 18, 1880 and before even, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. so if you go back far enough, you end up with a German watchmaker, exactly. Yeah. And people don't know that, and a lot of people don't know that, yeah. Yeah, and then... When we, when we choose brands, Lydia and I, we have a good thing about it, what we take on. So it needs to fit in our collection. Nice. It, the brand needs to have its own DNA, that's totally important. Mm -hmm. And um, it needs to be value for money. If it's, yeah. a, if it's a $1,500 watch, it needs to be good value for money. Yeah. If it's a $100,000 watch, there needs to be value yeah. for it. You showed me a hand heart yesterday, yeah. uh, the grey one, uh, three-hander, $1,400 Australian. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That is a beautiful watch. Absolutely. The way the way it sat there, and I'm thinking, this is just. Yeah. Are you sure you got the price right? And you're, yeah, and I'm thinking, I'd buy that over any Seiko, and I'm a yeah. Seiko yeah. fan, and I think, geez, just the way that thing was built, yeah. and the, yeah. just brilliant, yeah, but just the brilliant. Same, if you look at a Moritz Kostmann or Langen Heine, yeah, which can cost two hundred thousand, yeah, there's a reason. If you look into it, That's you right. see how it's made. The finishing, the and, and the days and days and days they put into polishing a little little wheel yeah, or bravo. the hands uh, where they need bravo. two two days to well, polish a set of hands. Speaking yeah. of um yeah. of, of traditional watchmaking, yeah. I was looking at the uh, Dombluth. Yep. Yeah. You know, and for me, talk to me about yeah. that because that's one of the prettiest dials. And just looking at the case back, um, I was just gobsmacked. Don Dombluth is amazing. Uh, yeah. Dial making, they totally flexible. You can have. Uh, uh, silver standard dial, which is already quite special because it's made in a way like they used to have for old um, ship clocks in a matte finish, matte silver finish, mm -hmm. that's really resilient to, uh, to water uh, moisture. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> and um, you can get ceramic dials. Yes, which, can, which that uh, was. Yeah, correct. you can actually say, uh, look, I've got a nice color in my car, I want exactly the same. Wow, match it up. Uh, match it so up. match up. <laughs> <laughs> what happened? Yeah, what yeah. happens if you change up cars? You got to change. <laughs> um, and it's all made by hand wow. as a one off. So you, you wait 40 months and you get a watch for a price. Yeah. I wouldn't know anyone in the world who does that. No, I agree. Of I agree. Range. I agree. And one, one of the things I remember watching a video from um, Andrew Morgan at Watchfinder. Mm -hmm. And he spoke about that particular dorm and he goes, the, the watch world or Germany's uh, best kept secret, something like that, because it is. Mm -hmm. so for that sort of money, which is not expensive at all, yeah. to get into full handmade, traditional yeah. handmade watch and craft. And you that uh, company, say hello to their dorm Yeah. And um, it looks like 50 years ago. His newest machine is 40 years old. Wow. So and, the newest is 40, yeah, the oldest the is probably 100, 100 yeah. But that's good. And yet, that's and classical were, watchmaking. Yeah. And you can, you can actually look, looking closely at the watch at the back, you can actually see some imperfections where maybe yeah, it yeah, yeah. And that, yeah, But that's great. Yeah, exactly. But that's great because you're not getting yeah. the perfection. You're getting yeah. a unique piece. Exactly, yeah. They're brilliant, yeah. but there's a little, oh wow, look at this. Yeah. That's my piece. Exactly, that's my yeah. watch. Yeah. yeah, I love that. No, that's, that's fascinating, yeah. Mate, that is lovely. Mm -hmm. Pete, it's been an absolute pleasure. I want to really thank you, brother. Thank this you. has been a joy for me, mate. Yeah, I'm yeah. really, really happy to see you here after. I appreciate Thanks it. Any watches to you since mate, I'm going to be getting a lot more of you soon. <laughs> Don't worry about that. But I want to say a big thank you to Peter again. And guys, look, uh, just an introduction into German watches. I'm so happy that we have places like Define here in Melbourne, or I'm saying Melbourne, here in Noosa, in Australia, because uh, it gets us to feel things that we normally wouldn't. So I hope you enjoyed it, guys. Again, thank you to Peter. Thank you for... <laughs> He's lying. He was drinking too much. <laughs> no, he wasn't. He's coming off a cough. Thank you, brother. Thank you again. And, mate, we'll, we'll do this again.